Hi, I'm Mindy. On a crisp December day, I was in Rome with my family at a piazza outside of the Vatican. Only I wasn't. That was what we had planned. But instead, I lay in a hospital bed, unaware of everything, in a coma in Denver, Colorado. Before the event, I had been very active. For about 18 months, I actually should have been paying attention to my body. I had been feeling increasingly breathless when I exerted myself, and I began to have horrible tingling and numbness in my then purple and red fingers. Uh, even my toes would get cold and purple. The bottom of my feet would be purple when I came out of a shower. So I decided to seek medical assistance uh, upon becoming frustrated with my initial rheumatologist, who really just poo-pooed my symptoms, um, I, sought, I sought out another rheumatologist and four months later, I was meeting with him. In our first ever discussion, I asked him whether I might have scleroderma. He told me, you don't want scleroderma, it's awful. He ordered the simple blood work necessary and two weeks later, I was being told that I had scleroderma. I still didn't know I had lung disease. And that's what happened. And then five days later was the end of my first life. And now I'm on to my second life. Two days before we were supposed to fly to Italy, that evening I had spent the night packing. Mindy had spent the night really napping. And in the morning when I woke her up, she was disoriented and she, the breathing had become more labored. When she was fairly non-responsive to getting up, um, I realized that there was something much more serious going on and I called 911. Things had gone from bad to really bad. This is what had happened. Apparently I had interstitial lung disease, which was advanced enough to cause my lungs to begin hemorrhaging. And in order to get that under control, I was intubated, I had a tracheotomy, I had tubes everywhere. 97 days from first stepping foot into the hospital until Mindy came home. It's hard, really hard. Scleroderma really attacks in places that we all take for granted. Little things, fingers, waking up in the morning and watching Mindy try to stretch her fingers so that they can grab a water bottle so she can take water with the morning medications. But I will tell you that we maintain a really positive attitude in our house. There's no as the saying goes from Tom Hanks, there's no crying in baseball. There's no crying in our house. We take things one day at a time. We have a positive attitude. I fought hard, I worked hard, and eventually I was able to go home. My life now is far different than before, mostly with limitations such as requiring oxygen truly 24 hours a day. But other than that, I'm able to do many things. And quite honestly, those are enough for a wonderful life. Scleroderma doesn't just affect the person who has it. I mean, it's impacted our entire family from trying to do things together and where we can do things together and staying at lower altitude with her disease. We've, we've managed as a family to compensate for the impacts of scleroderma. About a year after I got home from the hospital, I finally reached out to the National Scleroderma Foundation. That had been recommended to me at my first rheumatology appointment with REA Fisher at UC Health after the event occurred. I didn't do so at first because I was reluctant to get involved with people, so many of whom would have terrible stories such as my own. I'm happy to say that that wasn't the case at all and I wish I had reached out sooner. The foundation and its local chapter, the Rocky Mountain 
chapter of the National Scleroderma Foundation provides those affected by scleroderma, the patients and the families with wonderful resources, support groups. All of this was available to me online. At this point in time, I am hoping for a wonderful future with my husband and traveling and visiting our children and future grandchildren and continuing on with our fantastic friends, extended family, and just moving forward. I rely upon the research that the Scleroderma Foundation funds. I ask that you give generously to fund the National Scleroderma Foundation and its amazing work for all of us who are affected by this horrible disease. Thank you for listening to my story.